Hello out there. How's everyone? Welcome to Alpha Wisdom, the channel that offers lessons in how to read poems. And I'm Misty Cassandria. Today's lesson is number 77, The Headline. We'll be talking about it in its relationship to the lifeline. We'll do this in a series of lessons, so we'll learn much more about the headline. Okay, let's get started with lesson 77. Now, these are all illustrations. And what we're seeing here is a hand with two lines. The lower one is the lifeline, the one that wraps around the thumb ball or the venous mount. The one just above it is the headline. Our focus is on the space between the two. Now, I'm showing you this to indicate that there are various gaps, several gaps. It can be very small, it can be no gap at all, and it could be much larger. We're going to see examples of all of those. In the next lesson next week, we'll go in detail as to what all of this means and how it affects the individual with this gap or this connection between the two, whatever the connection is. All right, here's one example. All right, first off, the headline is the key to a person's personality. We need to realize that. It it, as it, is, it illustrates the way a person conceives and communicates, how well he understands and how he expresses himself through that understanding. Whether we think independently, logically, symbolically, or objectively is to a great extent what make us ourselves. People with different headlines are on different wavelengths and perceive the world in differing ways, okay? All right, the beginning of the headline where it parts or separates from the lifeline is highly revealing. Generally, it points out the degree of independence and con of consciousness, what they're thinking and what they're feeling inside. The greater the gap between the beginning of the headline and the lifeline, the more the person has mentally opened a gap between themselves and their roots, and the more open-minded they are generally. All right, let's take another look at another size gap. The first one, the headline dipped down to the lunar area, lunar mount. Here, the gap the headline just zips across. Okay, now if the gap is very wide on both hands, it's a kind of psychologically separateness brought on by differing world, differing world views within the family. Whatever the family feels, this person is feeling something a little different. It's like he stepped out and he has viewed the world and wants to see things more that way. He wants to be able to make up his mind. Okay, they would have had to source knowledge outside of the family circle or environment. That is, they're getting these ideas from outside of the family. This may have started as young as when they were like in grade school, meeting other people, meeting, meeting other students, so usually this is from an early environment, okay? Let's take a look at another example. Now here's a large gap, and this curves down. It goes down to, toward the, well, actually it's in the lunar mount. So we will see this from time to time, okay? Long lines. Ending under the little finger, take a long view of things. People with long headlines are philosophically inclined to think outside the box. For example, uh, let's say they're considering to be a prospective house buyer. They 
They are considering long term, the long time, uh, sorry, long term housing market. This is what they're thinking in their head. The possibility of other houses yet unexplored. The ethics of materialism and the point of moving at all. They spent a lot of time beyond, looking beyond the now, always asking, what if? What if this occurred? What if this happened? That's the person with the loan line. Let's go on and take another one. Here is the headline going straight across. Whether it dips down or curves, there is still this independent thinking outside the box. The only difference is one is more creative, imaginative, and intuitive in their thinking, whereas the other is more practical. Okay? Occasionally, the gap can simply be a sign of particularly pushy parents encouraging the child to be bold, self-reliant, and make personal choices early on in their life. If the beginnings of the heart and lifelines are clear, this would tend to be the case. So there's another line that would have to play a part in this pushy parent attitude or way of looking at things. All right, we look at one that's fairly common, and this is the one that's tied. I'm sorry, that's not the one. This is the one. The one that's tied to the lifeline. See the line moves across? And let's look at one tied curve down. What's going on here? Well, we'll find out next lesson where we get into the details as why. Today, you're given a general look at why these are important. They're on a different wavelength. What can I say? Okay, I hope you understood this lesson. If you did, check the thumbs up that you liked it and share, because maybe there are others out there that just don't know this channel exists. And be sure you subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, you know I appreciate that. And I'll say it again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. As with always, take care of yourself. And bye.